Hello, today's daily reading comes from the Apocrypha. We are reading from the book of 2 Esdras, chapter 9, and it reads as follows. And he answered me and said, Measure you, you diligently within yourself, and when you see that a certain part of the signs are past which have been told you beforehand, then will you understand that it is the very time wherein the Most High will visit the world which is made by him. And when there will be a scene in the world earthquakes, disquietude of peoples, plans of nations, wavering of leader, diseticitude of princes, then will you understand that the Most High spoke of these things from the days that were previously from the beginning. For like as all that is made in the world, the beginning is evident and the end manifest. So also are the times of the Most High. The beginnings are manifest in wonders and mighty works, and the end in effects and signs. And everyone that will be saved and will be able to escape by his works or by faith whereby he has believed will be preserved from the said perils and will see my salvation in my land and within my borders, which I have sanctified for me from the beginning. Then will they be amazed, which now have been abused my ways. And those who have cast them away despitefully will dwell in torment for as many as in their life have received benefits and yet have not known me. And as many as they have scorned my law while they still had liberty and when repentance was open to them understood not but despised it must know it after death by torment and therefore no longer be curious how the ungodly will be punished but inquire how the righteous will be saved for those whose for they whose the world is and for whom the world was created and I answered and said, I have said before and now do speak and will speak it also hereafter that there will be more of them which perish than of those which will be saved. Like as a wave is greater than a drop. And he answered me saying, just as the field is, so also the seed. And as the flowers be, such are the colors also. And such as the work is, such also is the judgment on it. And as is the husbandman, so is his threshing floor also. For there was a time in the world, even then, when I was preparing for those who now live, before the world was made for them to dwell in, and then no man spoke against me. There was not any, but now they which are created in the world that is prepared both with a table that fails not, and a law which is unsearchable and corrupted in their manners. So I considered my world, and behold, it was destroyed, and my earth plans that had come into it and I saw and spared them, but not greatly, and saved me a grape out of the cluster, and a plant out of a great forest. Let the multitude perish then which was born in vain, and let my grape be saved in my plant, for with great labor have I made them perfect. Nevertheless, if you will cease yet seven days more, however, you will not fast in them, but will go into a field of flowers where no house is built, and eat only of the flowers of the field, and you will taste no flesh, and will drink no wine but will eat flowers only and pray to the Most High continually, then I will come and talk with you. I went my way, like as he commanded me, into the field, which is called Ardat, and there I sat among the flowers and did eat of the herbs of the field, and its meat satisfied me. And it came to pass after seven days that I lay upon the grass, and my heart was vexed again, like as before, and my mouth was opened, and I began to speak before the Lord Most High and said, O Lord, you did show yourself among us to our fathers in the wilderness when they went out of Egypt and when they came into the wilderness where no man treads and that bears no fruit. And you did say, hear me, you is you, you Israel, and mark my words. O seed of Jacob, for behold, I sow my law in you, and it will bring out fruit in you, and you will be glorified in it forever. But our fathers which received the law kept it not and observed not the statutes, and the fruit of the law didn't perish, neither could it. For it was yours, yet those who received it perished, because they kept not the thing that was sown in them. And behold, it is a custom that when the ground has received seed, or the sea a ship, or any vessel meat or drink, and when it comes to pass that which is sown, or that which is launched, or the things which have been received should come to an end. These come to an end, but the receptacles remain. Yet with us it has not happened so. For we that have received the law will perish by sin, and our heart also which received it. Notwithstanding the law perishes not, but remains in its honor. And when I spoke these things in my heart, I looked about me with my eyes, and upon the right side I saw a woman 
And behold, she mourned and wept with a loud voice and was much grieved in mind and her clothes were torn and she had ashes upon her head. Then I let my thoughts go wherein I was occupied and I turned to her and said to her, why do you weep and why are you grieved in your mind? And she said to me, leave me alone, my Lord, that I may mourn myself and add to my sorrow. For I am sore vexed in my mind and brought very low. And I said to her, what ails you? Tell me. She said to me, I, your servant, was barren and had no child, though I had a husband thirty years, and every hour of prayer to the Most High day and night. And it came to pass after thirty years that God heard my, heard me, your handmaid, and looked upon my low estate and considered my trouble and gave me a son. And I rejoiced in him greatly, and I and my husband and all my neighbors, and we gave great honor to the mighty, and I nourished him with great travail. So when he grew up and I came to take him a wife, I made him a feast day. Amen.